Hello, hello. Welcome. My name is Jim Bostock. I'm the founder and creator of the Vocal Freedom Program here online for you who hopefully will join us because of your vocal struggles, vocal disorder. Uh, in this program, we've discovered over the years now that it is helping remarkably uh, all our members who are joining with spasmodic dysphonia, stuttering, stammer, unusual vocal dysphonias, dystonia. It's a banner, in my opinion, dystonia, the banner in which all the latter I've just mentioned sits under. Even severe muscle tension dysphonia because of the emotions involved, the stress involved with muscle tension is in this category. I'm just saying it's a dystonia umbrella. Vocally, you are struggling and it's very chronic. It's life debilitating. It's frustrating. It creates a lot of insecurity and self-consciousness, fear, anxiety, just to speak and get outdoors and have a communication or conversation. Go out and be with other people in groups and crowds, have a phone conversation. Wow. It is so frustrating. And my heart is with all of you. Thank you for joining me here on this short webinar. This is the first of three that I'm going to do. Uh, and this first one is just to introduce you to the concept behind my program, the Vocal Freedom Program. It's an online program where you join under a subscription model and I take you through lessons to help you heal gradually. And in this first one, I want to take you through the reasons behind why your voice has become the way it has. SD, spasmodic dysphonia, stuttering, stammer, and so on. And then in the second presentation, I'm going to take you through how the Vocal Freedom Program helps, how it heals, how it fixes, how it cures this problem in your voice, your body. And thirdly, the last one, I'm going to take you through what all our members who are currently going through, their experiences, what they're feeling, their revelations, their wins. Let's begin the first webinar presentation. How does it all start? Why did it start for you with your vocal disorder joining us here today? I'm going to keep it as simple as I can. For those of you who are really scientific in your brains, amazing. This will be a top-up uh, confirmation of a few things you've already looked into, but your brains, this is where it all stems from. This incredible computer system we have up here. Most importantly, the mammalian brain, the mammal brain. And we'll keep it simple. We've got the deep part of your brain you would have heard called the reptilian, the crocodile, the monkey brain. I love to call this area as a whole the subconscious subconscious it sits in the background under our ego layer our intellect which is the top brain the conscious brain it sits underneath it all and just controls everything it gives us the sensations when we feel fear it gives us the sensations when we feel scared when we feel happy joyful when we feel energized when we feel lethargic it does everything in the background and it just hums along. But the number one role of this mammalian brain, reptilian brain, the subconscious brain is to keep us surviving. Keep us surviving. This top brain, the conscious brain, the smart brain, the CEO brain, you would have heard all of these terminologies by amazing talkers, authors, speakers, podcasts, and so on. It tells our body what to do. We can analyze, reanalyze, make sure that's correct, and then make a choice. If we've made a mistake and it hurt, we rejig it and we do it again and we do it better or we do it the same, depending on where your mindset is. All in all, to look after, 
to do the bidding, to do the bidding of your mammalian brain. I feel hungry. Your mammal brain says, I feel hungry. Your neocortex conscious ego brain says, I can do this and make these decisions to satisfy the needs of your mammalian brain. I feel scared. I feel hurt. I feel shamed. I feel guilt. I feel pain. The mammalian brain is saying, ding, 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 ding. Let's give the body the signals, please. I need to survive. I need to procreate. I need to protect myself. The conscious ego intellectual brain that constantly evolves and reinforces and gets better and stronger and more knowledgeable says, okay, I know what to do. I'm the CEO. Let's do it. Make the choices reanalyze, make the choices again. Okay, and let's do it. Frontal lobes. Do the beating of your mammalian brain. Another name for this brain is your limbic brain that we talk about in the program, your limbic brain. So to finish off this slide, everyone, it's very simple. Think of your conscious ego intellectual brain, the frontal lobes, the big thing on top, as the keyboard that dials in, types in, codes in new information that you can control consciously. The subconscious limbic mammalian brain, the word concreted habits here, automated functions, the idea is to create new coding to tell to encourage, to instruct your subconscious layers to design a new program. A new program that does not spasm, stutter, stammer, constrict, tense your voice. A new program does, that does not involve fear, anxiety around your voice. Because currently, all that you do around your voice, with your voice, because of your voice, are bad habits. Bad habits. The focus must be to change your bad habits because today, living with your voice, we'll keep it simple, your ego, your intellect is always in a protective mechanism, always protecting, making choices to preserve and protect. Stay fearful, stay self-conscious, stay shamed, stay insecure. Make all your decisions and thoughts to make sure it nurtures the fear, the fear that has been set in, programmed in, in your subconscious. And this is the focus of the Vocal Freedom Program. Change these bad habits with good habits that you are learning in the program to create new, concrete, automated functions of confidence, love, security that's behind your new voice, your new identity, your new identity. And there it is. Moving on to this lovely chocolate ball theory by Alexander Lowen. I talk about this as a, in a big presentation within the Vocal Freedom Program. This is an amazing little analogy, the chocolate ball, as I call it, all your pain, all the suffering, the hurt are your chocolate, mushy, emotional layers. And then we have our beautiful ego intellect as human beings. Other mammals on this planet do not have this ability. That's why we sit on top of the food chain. We have this beautiful ego intellect that is very powerful. And its number one role, as you heard before, is to protect the inside, our emotions, our feelings, all in our subconscious. It's all sitting there in our memory bank. Darn it, wish we didn't have that <laughs> as humans, but we do. But one point in yellow to never, ever miss. Don't miss this, everyone. Don't look past it. Trust it. Love. We all as human beings 
at the core is love, connection, energy, strength. This is very important. And that's why this is a big part of the Vocal Freedom Program, the chocolate ball, because it's in these layers. It's in these layers, your subconscious layers, where your concreted habits around your voice is set in. This is where your vocal problems are currently programmed in. Your vocal nerves are doing what they're doing to you because of bad, concreted, emotional habits that are set in your subconscious. They are in here. If you are honest with yourselves and you speak the truth, you know that it is your fears that are driving your voice to be the way it is, to come out the way it is, like a nasty reflex. Anxiety, I'm scared, bad voice. We'll keep it simple. Do you not agree? So this is the chocolate ball layer, a little more in depth. You can go into this yourselves and have a look at all the individual words and it will make sense to you what I'm talking about. But don't forget, everyone, once you've done all this, look at the core. Don't miss the core. The love, love energy. This is what we need as human beings. And this is the power. I call it the superpower, our superpower to use and fuel your new habits. So why does your voice stay the way it is, no matter what you're trying? You are here because you've tried Botox, some of you. It's worked for a while, but then uh, it's starting to fail. You are tired of living under its thumb. You are tired of being governed by Botox. You don't want to live your life constantly injecting neurotoxins into your voice just to have a normal-ish voice for a period of time. The reason why your voice is still continuing the way it is today with all its dysfunctions Think of it like a phobia. When you look at spiders, heights, phobias, you can't help it, right? When you visually see it, when you feel it, when you sense it, when you smell it, when you hear it, when you taste it, something, your body just triggers. The sympathetic nervous system goes crazy and your body goes into a protective mode. Run away, run away, sweat, heart rate, goosebumps, fear. Fear just suddenly comes out. I'm the toughest guy in this neighborhood. And yet when I see a snake, I'm done. When I'm up in the highest heights, I'm done. Phobias. That's how powerful your body is compared to your ego, your intellect. This is a great way to demonstrate that. Your body is more powerful than your ego and your intellect. You've tried your hardest to use your intellect to find the best solution, the best remedies, band-aid treatments, the best research over and over again, year after year. You want to find everything about your problem, but why is your body, your voice not following? Have some of you even noticed that the smarter you become around your problem, the more you worry, the more thoughts are going through your mind? the more anxiety and stress you have, equal sign, your voice is no different. Your voice, in fact, may be even feeling worse. This is my point. Our bodies are more powerful. Your nervous system, your true selves are more powerful. When the body says stop, it will stop even the greatest intellect. And that has been my experience working with incredible minds and bodies around the world and over 100,000 patients that I have worked individually with in my practice. Just think about the scars in your heart, the memories sitting in your subconscious, all around pain, hurt, loss, guilt, shame. Are we protecting them with our intellect and our ego? Yes. Now suddenly another trauma, your voice. That failed on you at that time in your life when your body and your mind were going through increased volumes of stress. It stopped. Now we have another trauma to add into the equation. And what happens then? Our intellect, our ego protects it further. 
I don't want to feel that shame around my voice. I don't want to feel that hurt, that insecurity. I don't want to be looked down upon by other people. I hate what other people are thinking about my voice. I want others to think that I'm normal. I don't want to feel inadequate. I'm always scared of what other people are judging me on my voice. These thoughts are out of your intellect, your ego. Reinforcing the protective mechanisms of the fear that's sitting in your limbic mammalian, your subconscious brain. Same with phobias and memories of this. It's no different, everyone. It's another memory. It's another pain. It's another trauma that we, our intellect, are protecting. I will find everything on this planet that I can source. I have these things. I have these things. I have all the knowledge. I have all the power. I have all the money. I'm going to make myself do this, be that, do better here, be perfect here. To hide, to protect, to run away from. The negative, the hurt, the pain, the loss, the vocal disorder, that's where they live. And fuel stress, fearful thoughts, fuel those hormones, fuel that body to make sure your ego does its best to protect it, to do its bidding. Remember this, everyone. This is why no matter how smart you get around your vocal disorder, no matter all you try, no matter how much money you make, how much you compensate in any other way in your life for your insecurities, your problem, your disorder in your voice continues and perhaps even worsen. Why do we do this? Why do we have this insecurity, this need to protect ourselves, the need to compensate, the need to make our ego even stronger with money, fame, body shape, keeping up with the Joneses, hiding away, not wanting to talk in public or have conversations on the phone, not wanting to feel judged, hating criticism. Why do we feel like this? It comes back down to our parents. How was your mom? How was your dad? Our genetics. Yes, your vocal disorder, whichever it may be, has a significant genetic component. Your mom's line, your dad's line, or both, there is a significant genetic component that we talk about in the program. Yes. A classic example is looking at twins, two identical genetics, but one can have a vocal disorder and the other not. How is that possible? How is that possible? One can have a particular disease and the other not. And they may have two very different personalities. We all know this as parents. Wow, Johnny is like this, but Sally, whoa, isn't she like the polar opposite? It's because of the genetic components, the energy, the characteristics of mom and dad. Yes, you may come from both of them and you have characteristics of both of them, but you are stronger. I'm more like dad. Johnny's more like mom. And therein lies why someone may develop something or have the propensity to be more anxious than your siblings. And we talk about this a lot in the program, and this has a major play in your vocal disorder and it continuing your bad habits emotionally that I just mentioned previously. Why do I do this to myself? Genetics are a powerful player. Of course, then as a child growing up, how did you feel? What did you experience? Your neighborhood, your environment, your parents, were they always fighting? Did they abuse each other? Did they abuse you? Did they leave you lonely? Did they always threaten? If you don't do this, if you don't shut up, if you don't stay quiet, you'll be punished. You will not have our acceptance. You always fought for love. You always fought for attention. You have no say. Your voice is nothing. Or the opposite. You are everything with your voice. Never, ever lose your voice. This is your gift as a beautiful singer from a very early age, the stress and anxiety from your environment, your parents, your siblings, your schooling, your friendships, your influences, reminding you, reinforcing your ego, your intellect 
to protect your vulnerable emotions around yourself. I have a beautiful voice, for example. I can't lose this ever. All these people are reinforcing it too. I can't lose this. The anxiety grows. All the trauma, everyone, in your past from the years you don't even remember as a baby listening to your parents fighting, a lot of pain, a lot of abuse, very violent environment that you were a baby in, your body and your brain sensed and the programming began. It is as simple as that. And you had no choice. You had no control. A big one, a really big one that uh, for, for many of us is the fear of losing control. The fear of losing control. You can all relate to this. Your voice is encapsulated within that. I don't want to, because of the fear of not losing control. And the more we've suffered in our programming from our past, the more our ego layers and our intellect learns to protect. I will never lose control. I will never, ever feel like that again. Protect, protect, protect. And this is your voice. How many amazing people out there doing incredible things, humanly impossible things. And when you look at their history, when you look at where they came from, from their parents, their growing up environment. I just watched a movie about Serena Williams and Venus Williams' story. King Richard, Will Smith, what a legend. But if you look at all these amazing actors, sports stars and their story behind how they became what they are you can understand you can see what i'm talking about here without a doubt there is a deep pain we can all agree on this so therefore everyone to finish off this first presentation the reasons why your brain and your nervous system is doing this to you is because of your subconscious memories. I encourage you, leaving this presentation, to go back and quietly, but confidently, lovingly, without too much judgment, without too much fear or blame, very important, blame and shame, assess, acknowledge is the key word, where you came from. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. There may be a lot of pain there, a lot of hurt, a lot of regret, a lot of guilt, a lot of anger. Let it surface gently. Be with someone if you need to and talk through it. I do encourage that. But just be and be present with the pain and just breathe. Three to four seconds in, hold. Three to four seconds out and just assess. And that's all you need to do. We don't have to hash up anymore if you don't want to. You don't have to go down that rabbit hole too deep. I personally discourage that. Try not to go too deep because you will analyze too much. And that analysis, that control feeling, the perfectionism feeling, it can be stressful on your body again and your nervous system. And this doesn't help your voice. So it's a matter of assessing and accepting. Yes. This makes sense. Yes, I get it. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. Thank you, my environment. Thank you, my genetics. I get it now. I'm like, mom, mom is like this. Mom suffered like this emotionally, energetically at the time when I was growing up, even as a baby inside her womb. I understand the violence, the abuse that I came from. I understand now. I understand that I was told to shut up a lot. Otherwise, I mean nothing. I always wanted just their love and acceptance, but I had to work hard for it. And I, but I, and I couldn't voice my true feelings, my true self. I couldn't voice that because otherwise I was shut down and I hated that feeling. I grew up always suppressing my own needs and my own loves because that's how I was trained by my parents. That's the only way you get acceptance. This stressed energy sitting inside your body and your nervous system is very powerful, everyone. And it fuels your subconscious. It fuels it. And this again, determines the way your ego, your intellect creates the programming of your habits that you constantly did 
you performed it over and over again. Unconsciously, you can say. Built up pressure enough in your body to lock your voice. And from that moment on, you continue the same habits. And this is why your voice still continues. I want to show you a way, a pathway to eliminate these bad habits from your body, your nervous system, gently by creating new habits that override your old programming. This old programming that's automating a bad voice and a lot of stress that's driving it. I want to show you a way that you can create a new program that feels amazing inside, in your voice. And from that moment, your new identity is being created. And within this new identity is a beautiful new voice. This is what I want to show you. This is my mission and it's what I'm passionate about. Because I know from my career, working with human bodies, nervous systems, emotions, intellect, that you all are able, 100% able to achieve a better body and voice. You can do it. This is not a permanent neurological dysfunction or disorder. It is not. So if you have any questions, you can join us on our public group page. This is how it looks. Our members are growing every week. Thank you so much to all who's joining. I really like to grow this group into a massive community of people coming together, all working together. It's a very collaborative. Uh, we motivate each other a lot here, inspiring. There's no judgment here. Uh, we love to help each other grow and be better. This is where I also share a lot of talks that I do on live sessions, Zoom chats, podcasts, and so on. I share it all here. Uh, the latest science and books that I'm looking at and reading, I post it here, as well as all our members who are going through the program when they have amazing revelations, they come across something really helpful for the body and the vagus nerve, your vocal nerves. We all share it here in the mission to helping each other towards the same goal. We're all heading in the same direction. So let's do it together. Please join me here. Ask your questions, post them up here. And finally, of course, vocalfreedomprogram.com. Jump online on your phone or your laptops. Come onto the program. Have a look. I've done a free seven-day course here taking you through components of the actual program to give you a taster. A lot of people from here just said, wow, I get this, and they jump onto the program. So what we've done this year that's really exciting, we've listened to all the feedback from our members, all the remarkable changes in people's lives, and we just we had to get this out to more people. So therefore, we decided to launch this year our monthly subscription-based program at a significantly lower price. Until the next presentation,